Hello fellow AI enthusiasts and welcome back to the Matt Video Productions channel. Today's video is going to be one that I've been talking about actually for quite some time now, and this is using Dolly 2's feature of variations, and I guess in painting as well, to enhance AI generations from other AI models that are less coherent but maybe a little bit more creative, such as Midjourney, for example, which is really known for its creativity and randomness and artistic style, where Dolly 2 is really known for its high coherency more than anything else, although Dolly can be very creative sometimes. However, in Midjourney, you can generate a lot of really interesting stuff, like this is a pretty decent little strawberry monster creature, but what if we wanted to generate this with a higher coherency? Like, we like the creative details Midjourney added, but we want to see a more coherent monster design. Well, that's what today's video is all about. I was actually doing quite a lot of this a while ago. Actually, the logo from my YouTube channel is an original Midjourney generation then used in Dolly 2. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. These generations of various robots are also the same thing. Originally a Midjourney generation then enhanced in Dolly 2. Same with these mushroom creatures, they're very coherent looking, but when I used the same exact prompt in Dolly 2, I wouldn't get anything close to this. So basically what I'm doing is doubling my chances, so to speak, of maybe getting something really creative and interesting by using Midjourney first, and then Dolly 2. And of course this works for other AIs such as Simulacrobot, Dolly Mini slash Crayon. And yeah, pretty much any AI that you can think of. The only catch is you can't upload anything that's photorealistic faces of people because Dolly 2 will immediately catch that and say, no, you can't upload photos of photorealistic people. It's against their rules. So here's an incoherent one of a spaceman holding a burger from Midjourney and then Dolly 2 turned around and took that same image concept and made it a little bit more coherent. So yeah, think of this kind of like a cheat code to get really cool generations out of Dolly 2 and Midjourney. But do you know what else is a cheat code? The software from our sponsor, Wondershare's Recover It. We've all accidentally deleted stuff before, or have had to reset our windows and lost all of our data, so Wondershare's Recover It aims to be our savior. Recover more than 1,000 different file formats, 2,000 different storage devices, and restore your data from over 500 unfortunate scenarios. Some highlights are up to 8K video recovery, repairing multiple files at a time, you get a free scan and preview of everything you repair, and this one actually applies to me, crashed computer recovery. You see, recently I had to wipe my main Windows drive and reinstall Windows because I was having some serious issues with my microphone drivers, and I have been unable to recover any of that data until Wondershare's Recover It. So here in Recover It, I can choose from any of my drives, and automatically and quickly it will scan for missing files. And as you can see, it's already found all my old Windows files. And right here, we can actually see it starting to recover those deleted YouTube video files. So I could actually select one of these YouTube recordings, and after pressing the Recover button, I could bring that video back. Technology like this is an absolute lifesaver, and Recover It is so quick and simple, it's difficult not to have this program as a PC user. So try Recover Recover it for free with the link in the description below and consider purchasing it for all of your data recovery needs. Let's start out with this monster fruit, and what we will do is generate variations. When I first tested this out, we used to get six generations for every Dolly 2 prompt, and now it's only four, so the success rate goes down a little bit with this, but I still think it's a pretty viable solution. And there we go, this uh, actually works very well. I don't know exactly how the whole variation system works for Dolly 2, but it works very well with Midjourney AI generations, or just AI generations in general. As you can see, it totally picked up that we wanted this cute little strawberry colored fruit monster. You can tell the shallow depth of field is still there. It's a little bit more coherent than the original um, Midjourney generation, although it's still very close. Midjourney is not bad by any means, but these are very interesting generations. If you are a subscriber of this channel, you can look back at one of my previous videos where I talk about a new Midjourney update that's coming. This is going to be a very big update for Midjourney that drastically increases the size of the Midjourney model. It can be thought of almost as more of a Midjourney sequel. I'll link the video down below, but I think this is sort of what that new Midjourney update will be capable of. If it increases the coherency that much and is able to keep a lot of that Midjourney creativity, we will get generations that are this good right off the bat from Midjourney. So yeah, I think that's something important to point out. But yeah, all of these generations are absolutely fantastic. And it definitely helps that we started out with a very good mid-journey generation. We'll take this upload of, this was simply a chicken, but mid-journey didn't really get a very good chicken. It looks more like a prehistoric chicken, so we'll see 
if Dolly 2 is able to pick up on the fact that this was originally supposed to be a chicken. Okay, so it actually kind of sort of was able to pick up on the fact that it was a chicken. It's actually done quite a good job of maintaining the same color background and everything and sort of the same aspect of it. And it really just sort of enhanced this generation quite a bit. Like that's not a very bad generation, especially for Midjourney. It's pretty decent. But then you start to look at these and you're like, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot the high coherency of Dolly 2 is actually capable of quite a bit. All of these are really fantastic variations, I think, of this original prompt, so hats off to Dolly 2 for this one. It really was able to capture that bird aspect and really hone down the uh, concept and really just add to the image as a whole. I think all of these are better than the uh, original Midjourney generation by a long shot, but all of these weren't able to be generated without that original Midjourney generation in the first place. So this is really just two AIs working together to create something new. So we're going to give another monster one a shot. This thing sort of looks like a monster made out of yarn, maybe like a brain monster. I'm not sure what the original prompt actually was, but I think this one will be very interesting to see because that's already a very, very good mid-journey generation. And wow, we got some interesting results here. It's honestly very debatable. Uh, whether or not these are better than the original, especially because this original mid-journey generation is very detailed. There's a ton of detail in all of these little lumps on the monster. As you can see, though, the mouth of the monster really isn't as coherent, and that's, again, that lower coherency with mid-journey, whereas with Dolly 2, we have a clear mouth pretty much for all of these generations. This one's pretty funny. But yeah, I mean, honestly, these are also very detailed, but this one has, I think, the most detail in, like, his body, at least. These are all great variations, nonetheless, and very creative of works, which comes from Midjourney. The Midjourney provides that initial creativity and idea, and then Dolly 2 just sort of enhances. But all of these are really creative and funny. I like this one quite a bit. He's just sort of there. This one's also very funny. He looks absolutely distraught. But all of these generations are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I mean, if you have access to both, it's definitely worth a shot. So this is another monster. This is a corn monster. So we're going to see if it can pick up on the fact that that is a corn monster. All right, it was actually able to capture the original art style, like this digital art painting very, very well. And it was definitely able to pick up on the fact that it's like a corn with eyes or a corn monster. This one's pretty cool. I really like the glisten in his uh, corn eyeballs. This one sort of got the same aspect. It noticed that it sort of looks like a skull here on the face, which is interesting, and it really applied it to this one. All of these are very accurate variations. Maybe missing a little bit of the higher detail that you see in this image. I've noticed that with variations sometimes. You miss a little bit of that high detail, but nevertheless, these are actually all very, very good variations of this original corn. Let's go ahead and try a famous uh, lemon prompt of mine. So this is my generation in mid-journey of a, a lemon character, and we will see how good Dolly 2 can make a lemon character out of uh, one made by mid-journey. Wow, okay, so it really uh, took an interesting take on this. I think the mid-journey generation is definitely better in this case than all of these Dolly 2 ones. Uh, it sort of wanted to make the lemon guy very sickly looking, which I guess I can understand. He does kind of look a little sick in this. I mean, yeah, these are all very uh, disturbed lemon creatures. It picked up on the leaf very well in the background and everything, and it's a pretty coherent image, but yeah, they all look very diseased and deformed and just unwell, which uh, was not really a part of the original prompt or generation. So it's just not really picking up on this one as well, I think. I mean, these aren't bad generations or anything. They look pretty cool, but it's just not as accurate to the original, I think. I've actually got another lemon one to try, so we'll see if it does the same thing for this lemon generation as well. Okay, so this one turned out a little bit better. It definitely picked up on the fact that there's like two little lemons in the whole image, and I like that it tried to actually give some character to the lemon. Like, he looks like he's got something planning in the back. Like, he's some sort of devious planner. He's, he's got some idea. And I like that it gave him a little nose, too. These characters are definitely very creative. This guy is just absolutely googing out of his mind. He's, he's losing it. And then this one, he's just maybe a little bit more normal. The lemon also looks very coherent here. So, yeah, I think with this one in general, um, it came out a little bit more coherent, a little bit better. It's interesting, though, that in all of these Dali generations, it flipped the uh, extra lemon over to the other side, which uh, I can't for the life of me figure out why it would do that, but very interesting nonetheless. So now we're going to move on to something that you wouldn't actually be able to generate at all in Dolly 2, and that's a picture of a technically weapon, right? This is just like some sort of detailed knife carving. You would never be able to generate this originally in Dolly 2, though, so that's sort of another uh, benefit to doing this as you generate something like maybe weaponry or a war scene type of thing, like something that's still allowed in Dolly 2, but just 
you wouldn't be able to generate because of the word filter, and then you're able to generate variations based off of that mid-journey generation. So we'll do that now and we'll see if we can get some cool imagery. All right, so we actually got some pretty cool generations. We're unlocking some of that hidden information in Dolly 2. It definitely knows what a sword or a knife would be. But yeah, honestly, I like the mid-journey generation better than all of these. Not that these are bad generations by any means. They all look really cool. They're all very similar to the original prompt, but this one just has some detail about it that all of the Dolly 2 variations are simply lacking, which I think is uh, very telling sometimes. You know, sometimes Midjourney can actually compete with Dolly 2, especially with that new update that I talked about earlier. Midjourney is not a bad model by any means. It's, it's hard to forget that. So next up, we're going to give some crayon results a shot. So this is Donald Trump as the Lorax, and we will see what it can pick up on. We're going to just do a variation of Donald Trump as the Lorax. Wow, okay, so none of these look like Donald Trump, that's for sure. This one's actually, I think, a more realistic generation than all of these. But uh, nevertheless, I mean, they're decent generations, actually very similar to what our original image was. So yeah, it didn't really work the way we wanted it to because this is supposed to look like Trump, but it, it just wasn't able to pick up on that fact. It was able to notice, though, that it's all in the shape of like an app icon for all of these. Let's try out another crayon one. So this is the Demogorgon from Stranger Things holding a basketball. So we'll see if it actually knows what the uh, Demogorgon is. Okay, so most of these are not really that great, not really accurate. These two don't really look like Demogorgons. This one's honestly not too bad, but Again, that original crayon generation is probably still the best out of all of these. They're definitely all holding basketballs, though. And yeah, I mean, they're all pretty accurate variations. All right, so we will do one final one of these. So this is obviously a bottle with like a universe inside of it at the beach. And this is a very, very coherent mid-journey generation. So we'll see if Dolly 2 can enhance this even further. Okay, so actually the answer seems to be pretty much yes. This is still a very good generation. I could understand why someone would like this one more. These are maybe a little bit more coherent, like this bottle is more coherent and maybe the beach is more coherent with Dolly 2, but the inside solution of like uh, space really isn't as coherent actually with any of these, I think. Like the bottle is better and the beach is better, but still that space aspect in the center here is better with the mid journey it turns out but yeah all of these are pretty decent honestly this is a pretty good way to get some really cool generations let me know if you guys generate anything interesting and if you do generate anything interesting with this method i would love to see it on my discord server which i will have linked down in the description below so yeah everyone thank you so much for watching this video i'm at video productions and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye